Right, the Grand Pendragon campaign. 434 pages long on my PDF. Um, we might be at this one a while. So, if we can, if we go on for that long, I'll be surprised, but also very intrigued and happy. <laughs> oh, you know, hopefully we, we don't hate the system. That's the only reason we kind of move on. <laughs> charts, 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 charts. It's not Honestly, too much. Also, for the Call of Cthulhu system, I think it would have worked better if we just did if the player character's character died, the person was out of the game, and they would just you know pick this off for you know session by session. Yeah, but the problem is that that would leave some of you without anything to do. Yeah, true. So if you get killed off in the first session, and everyone else goes off for number ten. It wouldn't really have worked. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty happy to say you all break, you um, accidentally woke the shot off and got eaten. Yeah, you're whole. That's about right. Okay. Yeah, we were horrible people then, you, but we're better now. You're, you're knights, and yeah. you actually have stuff like honor stats. Yeah. You all we have, have we, that we can't betray in no. some cases. <laughs> we, have, we have a legitimate reason to play good characters. Well, except for the guy who's rolled up. <laughs> we're in a sport. system that's forcing us to play good characters. Well, you guys have to play good characters. I'm a pagan. Oh, yes, yeah, so, so Gordon the Reckless is our pagan knight. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, when did your dad die? My dad died uh, in. Hold on. Just because you weren't around for the role. Yeah. Um. Hang on. My notepad file is hiding oh, from me. Oh, it's not important. It's fine. I thought you might have it. Like, like four. He died like three years after we were born, or something. Three or four uh, years. Yeah. So, nobody's dad lasted around a long time. Oh, go, go, go! I shall avenge my so, father! Yeah, you, you, you've all got daddy issues because daddy got killed at some point or just died in some yes. cases. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so it's the year 485. You're all turning 21. Uh, so, it's about time for you guys to get knighted. Hooray! Uh, Yay! Um, uh, you've all been. You know that the real cause is in Leicester. Uh, one second while I quickly find my map of map. Britain. This is how Britain looks in 485. It looks around the same that it does right now. Not political. That is, a, <laughs> that is a surprisingly accurately drawn map. For 485, <laughs> yes, it is. It's yes. Really well, when your cartographer had nothing else better to do. I am very impressed. Okay, I'm just moving everyone's things around on this map. So this shows you Salisbury, the bigger map, um, and where everybody's house is located. Denton on the sea. So you can see that they're quite, you know, or clustered towards forest? the west. Is that ocean or forest? That is forest. Well, wow, we're on the forest line here. Yeah, T Tidsbury's right on the... T Tidsbury. It's right on the edge of the forest. Yep. Everyone else is kind of following rivers. This is a time when Britain had a shitload of forests and also wolves and bears. Yes. Yes. So, just pretty, every year you're going to get the, um, one of your family members is the least by a bear event. Yeah. I Basically, have a imagine playing Stronghold, but, you know, yeah. you're I have a guy. goal to wrestle a bear. Yeah. Can we, um, so, so can I put in hate, passion, hatreds, bears? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> okay, um, you know that there is a... There's a lot of gossip, gossip going on. There we go, stupid stutter, stammer thing. Um, apparently, thousands of Saxons have landed to reinforce King Hengist. Um, and Uther is starting to call up his bannermen, uh, ready for a major battle. Uh, so that point, you're all coming up on 21, and the local lords decided it's probably a good idea to get you all knighted up right now, and then send you off headfirst into battle. Yay! Yay! So yeah. this is kind of a, a hastily um, set up knighting ceremony. Normally this would be uh, done in a great hall. Um, yours is pretty much being done in an army encampment. Yeah. Sword here, sword here, next, sword here, sword here, next. Yeah. Shoulder. Well, shoulder, no, they still do. They still have to do the full ceremony. Okay. Um, you know, it's the your lord who is um, 
Not actually, apparently it wasn't on here. I've actually forgotten who it is. Let's see, Earl. Earl. Uh, Roderick. Ro Earl Roderick, there we go. Um, the Lord of Salisbury. Yeah. I thought that'd be on my page, but apparently it's not, so... Yeah. It's on our character sheets. Yeah. Il Roderick is a set-up pavilion, and he's going to go through the whole night state, and then, of course, we'll be including the leap. Uh, yeah. The, the leap? Yes. The idea is, in full armor, you will then run, once you've been knighted, you will all run from the pavilion to the... Um, to your horse, at which point, in full armour, you will try and leap onto the back of your horse. Yes. Uh, if you fail, you'll be marked. If you succeed, you'll have shown your skill. I'm glad I took energetic now. <laughs> yeah. This is why it's important to have horsemanship. Well, unfortunately, this was a deck roll, so... Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, so this is, at the moment, you're all undergoing your vigil. This is a quiet night of prayer and com contemplation, except for the pagan. He's probably off shaggy to one. Uh, probably. Uh, uh, uh. Should I roll? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a lustful check if you want. Alright, against 13. I'm apparently very lustful tonight. Well, actually that's not that lustful. Remember, it's brinkmanship, well, so yeah. you're trying to roll at, that's right. at 13 would be a critical. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the rest of you um, are sitting in, you know, um, the local church in the town that everyone's forming up around, you know, uh, trying to, waiting to be blessed from God or your patron saint. You know, the, the army bishop is the priest with the armies doing the blessings. And then next morning you all form to line up and the ceremony begins. Uh, I'm only going to read this out once, um, but so at a certain point, when you were asked a question, it's basically you should respond, I so swear. So, All right. it is, uh, come forth, Sir Gordon, uh, sorry, Gordon, Aster, Aris, and Merrick. Neil also, before, who's, huh? also, he knew who's not appearing in this picture. Oh, yeah, and, and uh, yeah. Do you, do you know how hard it is not to start this with bloody Sir Robin? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find that his full title is Brave, Brave Sir Robin. Yes, but you know, I could just take that bit of music and start the intro to this. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, if you've already heard that, I may have just given him just going Brave, Brave Sir Robin as the, the, the entrance music <laughs> for this. <laughs> Come forth and kneel before the throne, Sir Roderick says. Um, but the servants move forward and place sword, armor, shield, and spurs uh, in front of each of you as you kneel. Uh, spurs are kind of the key thing for being a knight. Uh, How else are you going to kick peasants? Yeah. <laughs> Be it known to all men that I, Sir Roderick, am minded to raise Gordon, Aster, Aris, and Merrick uh, by the. To, by the virtue of his honour, loyalty, valour, and skill of arms, to the high rank of knighthood. Then he turned to each of you in turn. Do you swear to acknowledge um, the hell? Well, this is a hell. So, Roderick, to be your true and lawful liege. Yes, I swear. I swear. Do you swear fealty to Uther Pendragon to defend and obey him to he depart the throne, or death shall take you? Yes, I, I swear. swear. Um. Uh, Step out of your bed. Speak of your bear. So Roderick rises and goes to each of you. Um, a resounding like blow across the face. And somewhere in the background, a, a noisy servant clears up. Everyone stares at him until he buggers off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, basically, he slaps each you, one of you as hard as he can. Ah, oh, old Ouch. school knighting. Yeah. Let this be the last blow you receive, without just recourse. Um, so you then, you know with this is your point where you kneel, hand raised, uh, in front of your lord. And then the no one places his hands over your, your hands. Repeat after me. I. Yes. I. I. 
your name? Your name. Master. <laughs> okay, except for um, Samaric, who is suddenly getting slapped just good old knee in the balls. <laughs> 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 uh, do solemnly swear and pledge my sword to Sir Roderick, my liege. Do some. Do solemnly swear, swear and pledge my lord to Sir Roderick, the liege. <laughs> <laughs> to defend and obey him until he depart his demise or domain. Uh, sorry, I always Did say that wrong. Domain or death shall take me and uphold the honour of the knighthood. Ditto. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and because what he says, come with it, So Roderick says, I, for my part, swear to defend the honour of, of this lot <laughs> as befits the true knight. <laughs> At this <laughs> point. <laughs> This lot. <laughs> yeah. This at this point he taps you each on the sword with a sword and then places it into your hands. I do dub you Sir, Sir Gordon. I dub you Sir Aster. I dub you Sir Rouse. I dub you Sir Merrick. I dub you Sir not appearing in this story. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not gonna turn up, he's not gonna uh, get his name back now, is he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sir Friedman. Now receive your spurs. Your right, right to suit, um, suitable arms, at which point he gives you your shield. Take this, my sword, um, which he kind of attaches the sword to you, and uh, at your side, a servant defend me. Arise, Sir Knight. Um, have a <coughs> play. Hooray! You've all gained a thousand glory. Yay! Yay! Although, actually, technically, you all have zero glory, because none of this gets added until the end of the year. Well, no, we have our starting glory. Oh, we yeah. We inherit our fathers. Yeah, so. nobody respects the newbie knights. <laughs> no, especially not the night before battle. Well, you know, you're gonna. Sur this means you can go into battle. So you just gotta survive it now. <laughs> this means you can go into battle not as a squire. Yes. Yes. You, you also, you know, you get to re actually ride your horses properly. Squire, or cannon fodder. We actually get squires now, don't we? We do. Yep, you all get a squire. You know, some, they, they kind of, it's one of those things that everyone's got their squire lined up and the kind of squire's doing his oath in the next tent over. Yeah. yeah. Now we also have to come up with suitably dumb names for our squires. I already know mine is. Mine is Hodor. <laughs> <laughs> Hodor the brightest is going to be the brightest of all squares, isn't he? I was yeah. going to call mine Bram, but then thought, how can I do like this without thinking, God, I need to skip every interaction with my squire ever. <laughs> so what, Bram, Hodor, Rick, and then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's weird that none of our squires survived the first chapter. <laughs> Actually, I think I could... Oh, come on. Uh, we're right. going to make a Game of Thrones joke at some point. Yeah, we had to. Yeah. Okay, at this point, you're going to be strapping on all your armour. Um, this is kind of 18th century... Uh, so, well, not sorry. 8th century armour, so it's more like Norman. Uh, it's the chainmail, isn't it? Yeah, it's chainmail. Where's that picture I found earlier? Of course, it's gone. One second. <laughs> You know, you put stuff in here, and then you go and delete it again, because you're an idiot. Short-term memory of a goldfish? It's not my short-term memory. There we go. Oh, it's got two now. Just just in case anyone, you know, isn't that up on... Sorry. What, cha one. what old chainmail looks like? Well, I what a Norman armour looks like. Mm -hmm. Huh. So, yes. that's what you're wearing. At least, at least we got the cool looking shields. Yeah, you've got the. Um, it's a bit smaller than normal kite shield, but it's not not too far off. Um, well, we only really need to protect the torso while we're on horseback. Yeah, and the idea mm -hmm. is it's your torso and your leg on that side. So mm -hmm. uh, later times the shields get short because they're used as a more forward position. This is kind of used as a sideways position to protect that flank. The, mm -hmm. the problem with them is they're quite hard to get over the horse if you want to defend on the other side. 
Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. So there's advantages and disadvantages. That's basically what you're wearing. Yes, but you should be able to defend the other side with just your sword. Are we still using the are we using the horse collar? Are we still strangling horses to get them to plow fields? Uh, I think he's still strangling at this point, and you wouldn't God use horse you wouldn't use horses for that job anyway. Yeah, that's what those oxen for. Horses are far too valuable. No, we yeah. use oxen. Yeah, oxen, Pe peasants. Peasants are a good one for um, plowing the field. Okay, now it's an informal ritual of the leap. Now you're all fully yeah. armed and armoured and laden down with more equipment than you probably would in your life. You have to run outside and leap into the shadow of your shadow. That would be very hard. The shadow <coughs> of your horse. Okay, so this is a dexterity check. Alright, okay. it's, it's going to be fun. <laughs> yes. Nope! <laughs> Everyone uh, last, last at Sarasta. <laughs> yes, critical. Critical. You can have fifty Ooh. glory for that. Thank you. And a dexterity check. Yeah. You're making up for your family's poor history, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be the golden child here. <laughs> okay. Thirteen. I make it. You make it. All right. Fifteen. Yes! Critical, so you can have 50. Oh, some of you guys are showing off. Yeah. <sighs> and some of you are lying face down in the dirt. I tripped over my own feet. Okay, I'm going to. It's time to run in spurs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you guys are lying face down in the dirt. I tripped over my own feet. Okay, I can. I'm going to. It's time to run in spurs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Uh, so, you all have some glory. Ooh, this is going to be exciting. Okay, so now is the night So uh, before, and you there's a party. It's not as much of a party as it would normally be, but um, it's enough to get you guys, you know, time to wander around. So, we're all doing this in a tent, not in a uh, grand hall. Yeah, instead of the Lord's Hall, this is a, a series of like fire pits. T even tents is probably going to go off a little too much. They won't have the large tents of later medieval times. Yeah. You basically oh, uh, probably got himself like a big something to cover him up. Yeah. The rest of you are probably sleeping out amongst, under the stars at this point. But, you yeah, know, there's going to be plenty of booze around. <laughs> So, if anyone wants to go looking for gossip, how would we look for gossip? Uh, skills. Um, let's see. What skill would that be? Is it not a gossip skill? No, it's not. No. Uh, gaming, maybe. No, not gaming. Um, how about appearance? <laughs> Intrigue. Intrigue, yeah, intrigue normally, probably, in, yeah. okay, you'll get that's it. So you get the gossip for free, but mm. if you can make me an intrigue check, I can give you a bit more information. So I'll give you the free gossip before you um, kind of roll the intrigue. Roll. So you already know that King Hengist has la uh, landed with thousands of Saxons, um, and people are saying they trust in Prince Madoc to take care of us. He's handsome enough, and he talks boldly enough, but truth should depend on how he fares in the battle. Mm -hmm. Someone else replies to this, I'll, I'll say it's too bad he's illegitimate. No bastard will automatically inherit. It's difficult, but you can be sure unless his glory is truly great when he, the old king dies. So he's a bastard, so he has to be popular enough yeah. to actually ascend to the throne. Yes. Uh, and someone else goes, listen, darlings. This is probably a woman. What she's doing in the camp, I don't know. Following or maybe it's the early box bridge. Black had a joke. Get that mm -hmm. tick. Right. <laughs> yeah. Listen, darlings, it would take something monstrous to get rid of uh, that tough old King Ufa. Madoc will have to be waiting a long time for any inheritance. Don't you think it's bad to talk that way? And then, you know, kind of say, did you know Merlin's gone away? Well, he comes and goes as well. Ah, but he's gone again. Had such a time. And, uh, you know, basically carries on like that. So, okay, so, ba so basically Merlin's this being man... flaky and unpredictable, who would have guessed? Yeah, he's being uh -huh. Merlin. So basically this uh, this bastard guy is probably leading us into a desperate uh, 
desperate, ill-advised charge so that he can gain all the glory and gain the kingship. Mm, that sounds about right. Knights, your tipsy knights on the first night of your true knighthood, what you're thinking is, oh my god, this guy's actually going to lead us into a battle. Hell yes, I'm down for this. <laughs> yeah. I'll take five heads, I'll take 17. Yeah. You're going to be pissing up in a corner, basically. Brr, 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 brr. We're also 21, therefore we're not that bright. Yeah. <laughs> You're 21 in the medieval age. Yeah, we're 21 yeah. and we've had, like, hardly any schooling. Except our I'm not literate. Sword. <laughs> Some of us I am, literate. I, I am literate. I know how to read Latin sometimes. I don't. <laughs> What's literacy? Okay, so does anyone want me to want to try and make me an intrigue check to listen a bit more? Uh, I love how basically yeah. I've got a royal conversation for this year, even though the royal court is nowhere near here. <laughs> sure. Well, sure, you I'll know the royal conversation. The yeah, so I know what the royals are doing. Na 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 na. Pass. Pass. I'll. Ooh. Yeah. Anyone else want to roll? Try and get that critical for the skill check. Sure. Uh, okay for me. Pass. I got one. Nope. Fail. Failed. Alright. So, so basically we hear this, and we're all like solemnly thinking about it around the campfire. <laughs> yeah. You overhear uh, Sir Bodrick talking with, with another high-ranking knight. Um, you probably shouldn't be listening to this conversation, but, you know, it's a... We sort of passed out in the shade of the tent. Yeah. Merlin is absent because he's exhausted from using too much magic last year to help keep King, King uh, to help King Ufa win the Battle of De Demon. The king has, help, has promised help to uh, to help Duke Ufa of Silchester. Do you know you know you do know, don't you, that the mages must sleep when they use their powers to such a great extent? The king is so impetuous that without the magician's guidance, I hope he's not acting too hastily. So he is acting hastily. Yeah, basically, he's, he's knackered Merlin out by because using his bat in as a battle mage. Wait, he's I have to say this. To use up all his mana. Yeah. So I have to say this. What did Morgan Le Fay do to make Merlin sleep for so long then, in the future? It, You'll find something. out in the future, yeah. won't you? About to say who? Who's Morgan no, Le Fay? Yeah. Uh, who? Uh, yeah. I'm not well, out of character. Anyway, go go ahead. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that. No, look, you know, you know, you know this. Uh. If you even mention some guy called Arthur, no one's going to have a clue what you're talking about. Yeah. King my my wife is now laughing. Son. We're playing Pendragon Deer. <laughs> 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 this lot are probably going to accidentally kill the baby King Arthur at some point. Because that's what they do. <laughs> oh, sad face. This, this is <laughs> true. Let, this let is us, let completely us, true. Let us Let's just, you know, let us make a concerted effort not to completely fuck this campaign up. Yeah. This one. This is the one we'll see through. <laughs> okay, over the, over the following few days, armies arrive at Silchester. Um, and we begin, the two forces seem to be forming. Your main force and another one. Uh, Ufa has summoned his army to meet, uh, to meet at Salisbury in early summer. Earl Roderick has come with all his knights. You lot. You're going to be assigned to a unit le led by Sir Amig. Uh, Have we brought our levies as well, or? Um, no, apparently not. Um, Thank you. I suppose if we're only just knights, we won't have inherited the house properly yet, will no, we? No, you'll get that when you this winter. Yeah. If yeah. we survive the year. If we survive the year. Um, so you're going to be added. One of us is going to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're no Sir Amig. Um, he's the guy who taught you to become knights. Um, him and another six others of his own vassals are going to form up a war band. So you're going to be like part of this battle. Um, although people are muttering that not all of these as men have turned up. Mutter, 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 mutter. Um, apparently the, yeah, apparently the most prominent lord is Duke um, Goltis of Cornwall. He's not shown up with his men. Uh, I guess we're right into Cornwall next. <laughs> okay. Roll intrigue. Roll intrigue. Yeah. No, we're nowhere near important enough to be trusted with that task. 
I know. Yeah. We're new. We're very new. Yeah. So we can get Mia Cred Creek. Yep. Mia Cred Creek is where your army is going to be forming up. Um, but there, there is going to be there is talk of uh, another battle being taking place at Mountain. Is someone like, clicking or something? I, can't hear. I like, think someone's like eating nuts or something. Uh, not guilty for once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just me. sat in my garden. Ah, it's the birds. Uh. Uh. <laughs> it's all the birds around you. That's how I like to be. <laughs> Kadoom. Okay. So Merrick falls from his horse and breaks his neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm not going to do that to you. Yeah. That'd be far too easy. I'm going to burn the whole of Merrick's household down. <laughs> Leave him as a pauper with no horse. Yeah. The horse oh. ran away. Even my special horse. My family horse. Yep, yeah, especially your family horse. Damn it. Also like how there's a um, there's a table, sorry, of um, Cookle's Woes. <laughs> for, wait, wait, what? So basically if your wife cheats on you, there's a table. Basically, yeah, if yep. you marry a wife who's out of your league, or if you marry a wife who's ambitious, then she can cheat on you while you're off on campaign. Yes. Eek. Because your wife gets a lustful trait. <laughs> this is truly the greatest game. <laughs> yeah. So it is basically just like Crusader Kings. Yes. yes. Pretty yes. much. Except it, you're it, a... It, except in Crusader Kings, your king somehow has... In Impeccable, impeccable information for your <laughs> times. <laughs> yes. There is no time lag in that game for information at all. It's, it's hard enough to begin, anyway. I like how yeah. we've decided, fuck the battle, let's just talk about bollocks. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it, you're, you're talking about this on the way to bollocks. Uh, yeah. Battle. <laughs> <laughs> on the way to bollocks. Great, what kind of characters do you think we are? <laughs> Well, you know, Bollocks could be actually a, ta a name of a town in England, for all I know. It is the name of town. Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so. Um, luckily for this, the Sa you're fighting Saxons. Um, so, it means that all footmen, the Saxons, have not brought any cavalrymen. Because they've all come by boat. Yes. Um... Which means that you're guaranteed not to be fighting any of the mighty units. Which is Although you nice... may be fighting giants. Well, only if we're all absolutely terrible. Or yeah. fantastically. Only if... Yeah, so on we may be area. fighting giants. <laughs> uh, we may be dying here. <laughs> actually, so, no, a mounted charge against the giant can actually fuck it up. What is, the, what is the codex of Bushido? Accept, uh, prepare for death at all times, or accept death at yeah. all times? Okay, so this is a medium battle. So we're somewhere between two and five thousand people involved. It's gonna last for five rounds. So I didn't table. I'll I'll just I'll just type it off screen. Yeah. Oh. So five rounds is on a certain um, battle, so no one's actually sure. Skip that stage. Um, so now we go to the strategy con uh, considerations, where I have to roll for Ufa and Ale, who's the Saxon leader. I like that guy. <laughs> I think that's it's it's so, are we going to run into barley and whiskey next? Yeah. <laughs> Ale gets quarter. plus ten to the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so Ufa, King Ufa has got a battle score of nineteen. So he has passed. So Ale twenty. 